Tonight, Israeli troops opening a fresh new front, launching a sprawling raid into the occupied West Bank, one of the largest assaults on the Palestinian territory in over 20 years. It started overnight with Israeli airstrikes. We felt like something came down on us from the sky and there was an explosion, said this father of three who was injured in the strike. He lost two of his sons. Israeli armored vehicles and bulldozers clawed under roads searching for explosives. Around 2 a.m., the army raided the refugee camp with a large number of soldiers on foot, said this paramedic. Israel's foreign minister declared the West Bank a full-fledged war and even called for evacuating Palestinians, a move that, if it happens, could mirror Israel's operations in Gaza. Hundreds of troops pushed into several areas of the northern West Bank, a Palestinian enclave separate from the Gaza Strip. They focused on Jenin, Tulkarim, and the Farah refugee camp near Tubas. Palestinian health authorities say at least 10 people have been killed. Fighting in the West Bank isn't new. For years, Palestinians in the West Bank have suffered regular, sometimes deadly harassment from Israeli settlers. Violence human rights groups say has been ignored and in some cases even encouraged by Israel's government. Palestinian health authorities say more than 660 Palestinians have been killed there since Hamas's October 7th attacks from Gaza, where today Israel's operations continue. IDF troops recovered the body of a soldier who had been killed during last year's attacks. And the World Food Program saying this vehicle was shot up while approaching a checkpoint. The organization saying they're temporarily suspending operations in Gaza. Now as violence in the West Bank intensifies, concerns it could come to resemble a new theater of war. Matt Bradley, NBC News, Tel Aviv. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.